everyone, this is Tammy with Creative Critters. I am here today to show you how to sync your Gypsy up with your Gypsy Sync software to get the latest update. Um, with your Gypsy, a cord came that has a USB ending and a smaller ending that will go into the top of your Gypsy, as you can see here. Now I have my cord plugged in here. I've powered my Gypsy up and I'm actually have it on in my application in mode. I'm going to go to my computer and on my desktop I have downloaded the Gypsy Sync software. So you'll go and double click on your software after you've connected your Gypsy to the computer. Once you've done that it's going to open that software up here and it's going to tell you that it's checking for updates. This process can take a moment as it searches and it connects your Gypsy with the Gypsy Sync software. New screen that we have now, I haven't seen this one before, is this gray screen. It's got the little arrows and it's telling me that the following updates are available. So this time I have updates that will update the firmware on my Cricut machines when I connect my Gypsy next and there's also content to update on my Gypsy. I have both of them clicked. The instructions say the following updates are available. Please choose what updates you would like to install. If the update is marked as required and you choose not to select it, no updates will be performed. Both are checked and I'm going to click on proceed. It's also telling me it is recommended that you back up your Gypsy files before upgrading. In the event your update does not complete properly, your system may need to be restored. A system restore will format your disk space and all .gypsy and .jpg files will be erased. Back up now. And so it's actually prompting me and asking me if I want to back up. I have already done that with my Gypsy, so I'm going to say no. Another new thing that I see in the Gypsy update is we actually have a button that will allow us to cancel the download at any time. Now, now it's telling me that it's contacting the update servers. The message I get now, downloading firmware data file. Now this could take a full few minutes and you'll see as the green bar goes across it, it will tell you what its progress is. Now it's telling us that it's sending the firmware files to the Gypsy. So it has communicated with the server and received the update. Now it is going to communicate with my Gypsy. While it's doing this, you don't necessarily have to sit here and watch it. Um, for the purposes of doing this video, I'm here. Normally I'll connect my Gypsy to my computer and I will click on my uh, Gypsy Sync software. Then I'll go and work on a project or something And while it's doing this. The Gypsy updates are actually becoming faster and faster. Um, there in the beginning, sometimes they would take a little while or it seemed like it took a long time. Um, I actually started this Gypsy update at 9.15, so we'll see how long it takes. When the, By the time I get done, we'll, we'll look at the time again. Alright, it has sent it the firmware to my Gypsy and it's now telling me that it is applying the updates. When the update has been applied, the Gypsy device will power off. You may need to then power the device back on and resume. Something new that you'll see is the screen on the Gypsy now has a little arrow with a, a line through it, I mean a little circle with a line through it, and it says updating your Gypsy. Please do not power off, disconnect, or unplug your Gypsy. Your Gypsy will automatically power off when the update has been completed. All right, now you'll see that it powered my Gypsy off and it's telling me the installation will continue after restarting your Gypsy device. So this is the one area that you're going to want to be nearby so that you can do this. And once it powers on, it will resume. Another new thing that we see is it's actually telling me with the Gypsy symbol that it is busy syncing. And I, then I get a prompt on my computer and my computer will show me that the firmware has been updated 
but the content is not, so the content is still checked, and all I need to do is say proceed. It gives me a message that says it is recommended that you back up your Gypsy files again, wanting to know if I want to back up now. I've already done that, so I'm going to say no, and it will continue. Again, it contacts the update server in order to get the content update. Now this process may not be a two-part process every time because the firmware is not necessarily updated every time that you update your Gypsy. This time it looks like it is. This is the May, end of May update of 2010. So that is why we have two parts to it. All right. It has completed that part and it's telling me that it's sending my content files to the Gypsy. So you'll see on the Gypsy it tells you that it's busy syncing and we're going into the next step. All right. Another new thing about it is you'll see it's processing and then it's telling me that status started and then it has the time elapsed so we're at 10 seconds and then it will count down for you and what I like about the new update system is that it communicates with you while it's updating um, always before you would see the lines going across and sometimes you would kind of wonder is it still doing something what's it doing um, it's actually going to tell you every step of the way and it gives you a um, timer on it too that really helps you um, know what's going on with the, with the update so if it seems like it's taking a long time all you have to do is look and it will tell you what's going on now you'll see that it's telling me that it is updating my cartridge library and two minutes and ten seconds have elapsed so now I know it's putting all those cool new cartridges into the library. Okay, now you can tell you can tell that it's giving me a message that says content is successfully installed. So all I need to do is click on my OK. It's refreshing my Gypsy. That now I'm done and I can close my Gypsy Sync software. Alright, so now you see that my Gypsy screen is here and I now have three applications on my Gypsy. I've never had the photo app before and I have it now so I'm excited to play with that later. Um, and there's also new content that um, I'll do some quick videos of and uh, share with you guys. But don't be afraid to update your Gypsy. This one has worked out really well. I'm really pleased with how they've improved it. We started this Gypsy update at 9.15 and it is now actually 9, 9.37. So it took about, what, 20, about 22 minutes to update my Gypsy from start plugging it in to finish. So go and do yours and have a great day.